Welcome to SAC's Dynamic Ship Impact Analysis. Um, the first thing we need to do is to create our analysis folder and then copy the reference files into this folder. And let's get started by launching DataGen. Double click and create new data file. And in dynamic tab, look for force time history input file, then click OK. And here, I'm going to insert the first line, the dynamic response options. We're going to use here, it's Ship dynamic ship impact analysis and let's use the echo input and the z coordinates plus z okay the, ver the vertical coordinate and that's okay let's go for the second line to we'll go to insert input line and look for S damp, which is a structural damp, and then OK. And here we're going to use 5.0%. And the next line is the line load. Go to insert input line and look for load. It's a header line, OK. And after that, gonna look for ship here it is first we're gonna define the ship weight which is 2,000 tons and the initial velocity is 3.5.0 and direction 180 and the distance before the impact is 1.0 meters and the impact joint number is right here IMPC okay and let's go for the next line it's the time history load Go to insert input line and search for the time history load and starts with dynamic ship, ship impact. Gonna use the structural dumping only and the first selection gonna use all and the second selection. It's the create loads and input file for collapse. Okay, can jump to another line. And now let's go to time. And start time is zero and end time 1.5. Then 0 0.02, 0 1.0, E minus 9, and in integration control 1.0. Then click OK. So we have just finished. Gonna input the end line and save our file. Okay, now it's time to create our collapse input file. Launch DataGen again. Create new data file. 
and in the static tab go to collapse input file then click ok and the first thing we're gonna do is to change our units let's use english units now let's go in insert the collapse options line and here you're gonna use maximum iterations per load increment 20 and number of member segments 8 and number maximum number of member iterations 20 and continue if maximum interactions exceed yes and deflection tolerance 0 0.1 and the rest is okay we just have to change the strain hazard in ratio to 0 0.002 and gonna use the old method and apply oh now let's go to the plot options look for collapse analysis report selection and the joint deflection P0 joint reaction print option R0 and member stress print option M0 oh, sorry and also print stress for plus members only yes then click apply and in the next line let's define some elastic member groups go to input line elastic member groups click OK and let's start defining the groups 14A 14B 14C then click apply and the next line undefined elastic plate group selection P01 P02 P03 P04 PLT Click apply and then uh, let's define the load sequencing go to insert input line and look for LD APL then click OK the name of the sequence is dead gonna use the self weight and the number of increments is one and the ending factor is one okay and now you can just type end and save our file cl P I N P dot ship. Let's close this and next step is to create the dynamic run analysis run file. Go to analysis generator tab and select dynamic and the subtype is ship impact analysis then the file ID we're gonna use ship and let's select the files
and here gonna check the solve options and edit non-linear plastic options. Now we can run our analysis. So here is our result and now we can check that. Plasticity occurred on the, those members and load step 21 and so on. And we can also scroll down to and here we're gonna find the log again and above the log we're gonna see the, the plastic ratio at the members okay all the results are here but we can also check that graphically Go to view and then open up your file. Go to load step tab and last. So here it is. We can animate that from load step 20 until 59. Let's increase the speed. We can also check with the solid model. Okay. Now I'm gonna generate some reports, go to file, generate report, and look for work done. Here we can, you can select the joint, but now we're gonna use all, and then click apply. And here's our report, and, and also we can generate the graph. Go to load step and then here you can select the base shear and then add and now we can show the graph. Here it is. So this is all of that I want to show you. I appreciate your attention. I hope you enjoyed and thank you. Bye bye. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.